Many people carry a $2 bill in their wallets, claiming it's good luck. But here's someone who needs a little more than what the $2 bill can deliver. I need a lot of luck, so $2 is not going to cut it for me. So what I do is I carry for good luck the $500 and the $1,000. So I carry with me in my wallet all the time, and just because of, uh, they're all so different now. These are neat. It's not something that you see every day, but that's, uh, that's just a novelty, so I carry them for good luck. If you need just a little luck, you can get $2 bills at the bank. But if you want to be like Sergio, you may be out of luck since they don't make 500s or 1,000s anymore. Hi, I'm John, director of the $2 Bill documentary, back with my latest video where I answer your questions about the $2 Bill. But for this video, we're veering off into other denominations. And that's because Al C. submitted a question that asked, why do they still make $2 bills and not $500 or $1,000 bills? Well, Al's gonna receive his own $2 bill for submitting a question that I used to make a video out of. And remember, you can also submit questions to the community page on my channel, and if I use yours to make a new video, you'll also receive a $2 bill. So, why twos and not 500s or 1000s? Let's find out. The reason they still make $2 bills is pretty simple. It's a practical denomination that's still in demand. Despite the fact that you may not see one often, there are plenty of people that want them. Special interest groups use them to bring awareness to their cause. They're great for tooth fairy and birthday card needs. And if you actually started spending them around town like I do, you not only find them to be very convenient, but you may get some great reactions. As recently as October of 2018, the Bureau of Engraving and Printing ran off another $153,002 bills. It won't be the last printing either. But 500s and 1,000s? That's a different story. Like the twos, the first federally issued bill of each denomination was issued in 1862. And like the two, each bill had several iterations through 1928. But the last bill of either kind was printed in December of 1945. By 1969, $500 and $1,000 bills had been discontinued due to lack of use. Funny, because that's the exact reason twos were discontinued in 1966. But the two has one thing the larger bills don't. It's the only bill that's left and come back. $500 bills and $1,000 bills were in circulation, and they slowly were taken out of circulation and they stopped being printed years ago, but they've never come back. $2 bills left, but they came back, and they came back better with the Trumple painting, so they're unique in that respect. One of the reasons the 500 and 1,000 never came back is because they were more often used by banks for large transactions. There were also concerns about counterfeiting and the use of large bills in illegal activities like money laundering. Even though inflation has made things cost more in the decades since these bills were discontinued, the use of electronic payment options has also rendered them unnecessary. There is no plan to ever print these bills again. So, the $2 bill is more practical, it's still in demand, and it's still being printed. But the $500 and $1,000 bills still have one thing going for them that the $2 bill doesn't and that's that there's still denominations used in a Monopoly game. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out some other great $2 bill content that is appearing right next to me.